This is Twit. Are you ready? Ready to? So there's a little boy. He's running in the road. This is from Russian dash cam footage. Everybody's getting out. They're all worried. Car comes up, picks the kid up by the collar and drives off. <laughs> Saves him. Fake or real? Oh, I buy that as real. Really? Gets him out of the road. <laughs> it worked. It's very dangerous, by the way, folks. Do not do this. Do not do this. If you slipped and dropped the kid... You just run right over him. I don't know. I believe everything except the kid. The kid's surprisingly colorful. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Yeah. What do you think? Real, fake, and how would you know? What do you think, Nate? Yeah, that's. I don't think I can tell. Maybe that's. No. I don't know why it would be fake. Right. So yeah, that's my one. I don't know why it would be fake. And also, what is if it is fake? What is the passenger in that car picking up in that child's place that they replaced with a kid? Could be a small animal, could be a loaf of bread. I, I think the thing that does make it a little more credible is at the very end when the mother comes and says, Oh God, and grabs the kid away. Jeez. <laughs> Jeez yes. Louise, what are you doing? I just feel like it would be much more like if this was fake, I mean, you'd make it more exciting, right? You'd put him well, but, somewhere else. But shouldn't the kid, shouldn't the guy just get out of the car and help the kid back to the sidewalk? Well, it's cold outside, Leo. Can you see it? <laughs> it's very Russian. <laughs> Very Russian. That guy got out. He's like, all right, what's going on here? Uh, my, here's my question. Wait, okay, so am I to understand that is, oh, he's the driver. Okay, so the driver is oh, on. Oh, is the driver right on drive. the right? No, right I don't think. Because this, well, this guy in the bus gets out and on on the our traditional driver's side, he is not the Correct. driver. So I assume it's right-hand drive. Oh, so yeah. maybe it's not Russia. Oh, you're so, right. He's not the boy. You're smart, Ashley. I didn't know he wasn't the driver, but you're right. Either he is not the driver or the car. He's lost control <laughs> of the vehicle. Yeah, or the car the... is just a self-driving, <laughs> crappy little bus. <laughs> it's a self-driving. It is a little oh, icy. It's a feature on the I new hate, Tesla. I paid for that. Yeah, he, if he bought it used, he paid for FSD for sure. It hasn't been deactivated yet. All right. <laughs> this happened in 2017. I don't know. It's from the We Love Russia YouTube channel. All right. How about this one? All right. You, know, you can tell, tell me. All right. If, fake or not can fake? Can you tell if this is a deep so fake this, or not? So this, I love this story. Go ahead. Show this video. This guy, Dennis Sexy, <laughs> not his real name, uh, has upscaled the first, the first motion picture. You recognize it right away, Ashley. I'm impressed. I did. The scared people in the theater. They yeah. thought a real train was coming at them. Yeah. I've repeated that story many times. I think there is actually no evidence that people ran out of the theater screaming. I think they were just <laughs> astonished. I mean, I would imagine it would just be a, an incredible thing to see for the first this, time. This uh, is a know. very famous movie, very short movie. The first motion picture. Uh, I'm trying to find the details about it. I don't have it off the top it's of my head. It's by the Lumiere brothers. Okay, the Lumiere brothers made this eight, when in 1890, 1910? 1896. Okay. So it's very early motion pictures of a train arriving at a station, people getting in and out. What's cool about this is somebody has upscaled this, improved it. In fact, does a great job of, of and you can see, actually keep showing, because you can see the source versus the upscaled. They do a half and half. 4K video, 60 frames a second, mm. using a computer software God, to upscale amazing. the first movie. Uh, his real name is not Dennis Sexy. It's Denise Shereev. and But I like Dennis Sexy. Uh, he took the arrival of a train at La Ciostat uh, and, and, and upscaled it. It was originally 640 by 480. I find that even hard to believe, but it is film, so I guess it could be at 20 frames a second. It was one of the first attempts at 3D film. Uh, not completely uh, believable at the time, but he used... Denis used a mix of neural networks from GigaPixel AI and a technique called depth-aware video frame interpolation to not only upscale the resolution, but increase its frame rate to 60 frames a second. That's the amazing part to me is the increasing the frame rate. Yeah. That's, that's incredible. Tripling the frame rate is just, yeah. that's, a, that's amazing. Pretty cool. This is soft. Wasn't it upscaled from an already upscaled video? Or it it was, which actually is make probably makes it harder. No, you're right. It was coming from an already upscaled digitized version of the same film. Um, people have been messing with this uh, Lumiere Brothers uh, film for a long, long Ooh, time. Oh, I want to see that color version of it. 
You want to see There's the a, color? Yeah, that's so yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll show you that. I'll show you that. This is the colorized uh, version, or or as they I love say, old colorized stuff. Deoldified. <laughs> deoldified. Wow. Yeah, deoldified. Oh, wow. What's kind of cool? You see, that to me is more impressive. Oh, it's amazing. I don't know. Really? Love that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I actually on the black and white one, I prefer the old one because I feel like I'm watching something. That's made at the time it was made. Yeah, but whereas I, well, this, I, this is looks giving like me a more. Hollywood film. Yeah, I love this. Gives me more. I love seeing, knowing that these people are dressed in what they thought was normal clothing. <laughs> I love. You could uh, never wear that in Southern California. You just die. Look straight. at that lady. Uh, mm -hmm. I just, I just love the idea that uh, this is actually these are how factory workers dressed in the 1890s. With petticoats and big hats with frills, and that's just wild to me. Haven't you watched Dickinson on Apple TV Plus? They all dress like this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got that on my list. On my list.